Watching a special edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're here with Dr. Farnoosh. We're talking about what could be done for gummy smiles that could be corrected and uh, pigmented gums, uh, discolored gums. Uh, a recap. What do you want people to know? Final message before we move on. The person out there with stained gums, pigmented right. gums. Um, as a patient, if I'm a patient and have a discolored gum and... Uh, Again, I'd like to emphasize, I may have a Venice, a beautiful crown's place, but if I'm really concerned about my, to have an attractive, beautiful smile, I would also take a close look at the color and the shape of my gum tissue. That's extremely crucial. And on top of it, as we discussed, the position of the lid, because those three components will form an attractive and beautiful, beautiful smile. So just by having a beautiful veneer, as, as you saw the case that I showed you, is not going to solve the problem, is not going to address the issues. Okay, let's, let's move on then to gummy smile. Mm -hmm. People that smile, too much of their gum line is showing. What do you do? The gummies, uh, there are some minor, uh, there are some major, major surgical procedure that nobody wants to go through it. There are some minor corrective procedures that we can do and has a tremendous, tremendous impact. For example, the case that I showed you here, just by minor, minor reshaping of the gum tissue, what we call a crown lengthening. So if the teeth are short, relatively short, we can make them a little bit longer. But more important, again, the technique that I develop by repositioning the upper lip so you can limit. So the lip doesn't go all the way up to the base of the nose to show too much gum. And Is anybody too far gone? As far as the... I mean, they're showing so much gum tissue when they smile. And I see this. It's almost an overbite with a lot of gums. Is it, I mean, can you pretty much take care of any gummy smile? Absolutely. Unless there's something really, really major. But you've never seen one that you couldn't take care of? No. No. Okay. Because many times that particular problem is associated with prominent... This segment, what we call a premaxilla, upper front. Okay. And also the color is disc uh, the, the, the discolored gums may or may not be present. What I do is just get rid of these prominence and loosen up the upper lid by just maybe a two millimeters or so, put it in a reposition it and smile is. So when they try to smile big, their gums don't show. Absolutely. This, let me let me show you one case. Okay. This is a case patient had totally discolored and heavily pigmented gum tissue as you see on the lower jaw. Okay. The upper jaw has been treated here and it shows the after the treatment the appearance of the uh, good looking pleasant looking of the gum tissue and again that shows how bad the lower jaw was. What I've done in this case you'll be surprised this is a case after treat, treatment of the upper jaw. You see how beautiful the, 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 the right. color of the gum tissue. What a gummy smile but she has a gummy smile. Next phase, in fact she's coming to me next month, I'm just going to bring this lip maybe about two millimeter, a little bit down. It's a little bit. And that's, so that's how much gum do you, are, are you looking to show? In uh, your opinion? It, it, this is more or less, have the, the lower picture that you see here, uh, more or less this is ideally what, what you like to have. Many people have either just straight flat line on the top it shows it's too much gum tissue. You need a little bit of scalloping here, and and it shows if it shows maybe one one and a half millimeter of gum tissue with a beautiful teeth, that's perfect. Okay, now this is a procedure, by the way, mm -hmm. that and I spoke to my dentist mm -hmm. about this, and he says, I you know I've been training all over the world, and he's never heard of this procedure. It's when I the first case and he I, wants to learn the procedure. Absolutely, in 1998. When I did the first case, I shared with a number of plastic surgeons in Beverly Hills, and they couldn't believe it either. So I explained to them my approach. I've been revising my approach because there are a number of ways that you can bring the lip down. From, obviously, everything is done from inside. Okay. And again, depending on the case, if you see a patient, very prominent segment of the upper front, mm -hmm. that by some minor corrective procedure here, and repositioning of the, of the lip. Some patients do not have that prominent issue, a prominent problem in the upper front. Those who just reposition the gum to the upper lip and makes it day and night. It's tremendous, tremendous impact. So who should get this procedure? I mean, how much gums have to show in order for you to say, 
you should do this procedure? Well, let me tell you, Randy, you can judge better than anyone else. If you are not happy with your smile, you may not be able to identify exactly, you know, something is wrong, but you are not happy with it. That's, you will be a, so that's a great, that's a great candidate. candidate. And, uh, so it doesn't have to be huge, a huge gummy smile. No. It could be subtle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is it but an easy procedure for you to do? Very easy procedure. How long does that take, by the way? Uh, for the repositioning, you're looking at about maybe an hour. Is that right? Yeah, 45 minutes of one hour. Uh, but that's about They could go back to work? A couple they can of go days? back to work. They may get just a slight swelling around this area. Okay. But the final outcome is incredible. In fact, when I was discussing this with Dr. Dorfman, because he has some pictures in Bill his... Bill Dorfman from Extreme Makeover. Bill Dorfman from okay. Extreme Makeover. And uh, he was amazed. Some of the doctors, we have a different approach in terms of we are all trying to reposition the lip, but some of them a little bit more invasive, some of them less invasive. So my technique, depending on the case, has incredible, incredible results. Here is another example. Very young, attractive, good-looking African-American. Okay. And uh, this was really, really bothered by, she, he was bothered by degree of pigmentation, discoloration of the gum tissue. That basically shows the upper left side, the upper right side before treatment. What I did in this case, we decided to just treat the upper jaw. Okay. And you can see the upper jaw has been treated, the lower jaw left intact. So you can see the degree of pigmentation in terms of a contrast. Now, Dr. Farnish, we have a few more seconds left. Um, dental